federal. It's a U.S. Marshal, but I feel like my safety is at concern. Are you detaining me? Karen's in public. So what's the deal, man? What the hell wrong with this dude? You're the story right now. Oh, hey. So what if I sit there and I record you? It's, I'm just a black man with a camera recording what I see in public, bro. Right. If you scared, go to church. Ay. All right, Big B Nation. So we at the uh, U.S. District Courthouse, Federal Courthouse. United States Courthouse. Federal court took me a while to find it, but um, you know, the tyranny doesn't change once you get to the federal level. It seems like they said we don't we can't bring um cell phones into the courthouse. And so I kinda had a little back and forth with the um a couple of marshals in there, one of them by the name of Mays. Joe Mays and another one by the name of Robert. He was a Robert was a supervisor. They both was telling me something that was contradictory on the judge's order to not allow cell phones into the building. And um we kind of had a little back and forth, a bunch of cops explaining. Mays tried to basically trump up a trespassing charge, tried to talk to me like I was a child, called me Bubba. And you know, just basically very condescending. They wouldn't they didn't even come out in a uniform. They came out in some uh PT clothes, just some regular clothes. They didn't even didn't even ha had the decency to put on a uniform. You know what I'm saying? So So um you know it's just a little discouraging that these are the guys that are supposed to, you know, uphold the constitution and they in here basically violating rights. You know, this is a building that we pay for, and there's no reason why you shouldn't be allowed to at least bring it in here. I can understand if you don't want recording or anything that's going on, but the, the reason... It said right there, no cell phones allowed in this facility. Please leave in your vehicle. Valid photo ID required to enter. I didn't even bring my ID because I left it in in the back of my cell phone when they told me to take it back to the car they didn't even check for my ID you know what I'm saying so you know they just contradictory like didn't even do their job you said photo ID is required to enter the building but nobody asked me for ID you know what I'm saying I was able to to get my case removed that's, that was my reason for being here. I'm getting my cases removed from state jurisdiction to federal. But it's like, I don't even know if I even want to do that now because they, you know, the, the, the tyranny is, is running rampant throughout this country. You know what I'm saying? Like it don't make no sense. see nothing up in there it don't make no sense literally try to trespass me from a federal building and I ain't committed no crime he tried to trump up some and then call me Bubba like dude you must have forgot you work for the public couldn't even put on a uniform I told his ass go put on a uniform Either show me your identification to go put on a uniform. He went and put on a uniform, so I appreciate that. But, dude, where's the professionalism? Just condescending. All I went in there was to ask him because on the judge's order it says if you're a, if you're a lawyer you can bring a cell phone, but if you're not a lawyer you can't bring a cell phone. But then in the second after after that it says. Well, actually, it don't say only if, let's say, if you're a lawyer or if you are a um, a party to litigation. Individuals who are a party to litigation. That's me. I'm representing myself pro se, and I'm bringing litigation 
upon the the state of Texas. So just looking at the order, it clearly says that I'm allowed to bring cell phones. And then it also, the second sentence says, all individuals will be required to, to demonstrate that the cell phone is used for its intended purposes. So, so it's like, it clearly states in the order that I'm allowed to bring it, but they telling me I can't bring it in there because I'm not a lawyer. Like, what's the difference? And then he tried to cosplay and tell me something. If it has, well, you could bring it in here, but it's only a flip phone. So now all of a sudden I can bring a flip phone in here. But just a minute ago, I couldn't bring no cell phones in here. That shit don't make no damn sense. That shit don't make no damn sense. Now all of a sudden I could bring a flip phone in here, but if it has recording or photo capabilities, I can't bring it in here. Just making shit up as they go. Now I done probably messed it up for now the judge probably gonna get worried. Oh, he he trying to he trying to stop my order. You depriving my rights, judge. Now I gotta hear his mouth. He probably gonna try to throw the case back into state court. And then I'm gonna bring litigation on his ass. Because U.S. Code, 28 U.S. Code 1446B says that I can remove my case from state to federal strictly due to the deprivation of rights and strictly due to the deprivation of rights and um and me not getting equal process of the law, equal equal uh, equal protection of the law. If you're not getting equal protection of the law, or if you're not getting um, or if you're not getting if if you're getting uh, due process violations, then they can you can get your case removed from the state to the fair. We out here in Waco, Texas. That's one of the security guards that was violated.
gathering content for a story. What story? Rather not say right now. Okay. Can I get your name? My name? Yeah. No. All right, well, why are you asking me questions then? <laughs> why are you sitting there filming me? Why not? Why? And what's the purpose? What's the story for? I just told you, gathering content for a story. What kind of story? I yet to determine that. You've yet to determine that? Yeah. Really? You're the story right now. Oh, hey. Are you detaining me? Telling me to hold on. What the hell wrong with this dude? Are oh, you about to get do the cam back? You walked either. out of this building to leave at five. You were walking down the street recording that way, mm -hmm. but then you stand there and record my truck. Mm -hmm. Do you think I'm somebody? Am I obligated to answer any of your questions? No, you're not. I'm no sort of law enforcement. Like, I don't know why you're recording me. That's, what, that's all I want to know. What you, it's cameras everywhere, right? It's a camera right there. It's like two, four of them on the I corner of that building. There's two of them right I there. Work in this Those cameras don't bother me. Yeah, I so why does this camera bother? I don't know you. I don't know the intent with your so you, video. This camera's on every building. It's like probably 50 cameras on this okay. block. Why does this, this one bother? Because I've never seen you a day in my life. So what does that mean? You, it's, it's, how many people is in this city? And none of those sit there and record. How many people is in this city that got cameras? I don't know. How many do I know that are recording? Yeah, but you don't know everybody in this city. So just because you don't know me, don't mean that it's... So what if I sit there and I record you? Hey, it's your right, right? Oh, yeah? Do I not have the right to do this? You do. Okay, well, so what's the problem? The for you to tell me I just told you. I'm gathering no, content no, for no, a story. No, 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 no. What's the story? Why do I need to disclose that? I'd rather not say. Do, you, do, the, do Has the, any journalist ever ever disclose the, the content of that story before a publishing journal. it? What do you work for? Big sales, right? Freelance? Yeah, you yeah, got yeah. it. You got yeah, it. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, you yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah. Yep. So what's the deal, man? What you mean, what's the deal? What's the video for? Why? Story, <laughs> like, what are you trying to get? Why should I have to disclose that to you? And who are you, first of all? But you don't need to know who I am. Exactly. So why do you need to know why, why I'm, what, what type of story I'm trying to do? I'd rather not answer any more of your questions. You want everybody else to obey for you. But you, you don't have to do I'm not asking you to do a damn thing. You, you came up to me, right? To you came up to me, right? Myself. You came up to me, Correct. though, right? Correct. I did. I want to okay, know what then. You doing. I feel like my safety is at concern. So your, your, your safety is at concern, but you come within arm's distance of me. Yes. But your safety is at concern. Correct. Is a concern. Correct. Okay. Okay. Good luck with that. Correct. So, so, so what you, so what's, somewhere? so what's the next step? What, what's your your safety, you, you fear for your what's life? Your are you afraid what of the, are you afraid of the camera? I'm afraid of the camera, I'm afraid of what you're going to do with me on the camera. Well, well, what does it matter? Do you have something to hide? No, you're going to try to twist it. That's all I want to All do. I'm doing is documenting and recording what I see in public. That's what I'm doing. So I've noticed some other employees come out of this building. So it's only federal that you're recording. I'm it's recording, I'm, I'm, I'm recording that everything recording. that I can see in public. Are, am I not in public? Am I not in public? Am I not in public? Who's that? Somebody calling you? Yes. Well, go ahead, go see who you want then. Look, well, what's the purpose for federal? Why not? <laughs> what's the problem, man? All right, well, do your job. Do what it tells you I to do. That you leave me off. Because I, I, I didn't do what you said. I came out here. Well, you, you basically just made the story, bro. So I can't, I got to publish it. What's the story? What's the story? You basically what's just the, made the public. Did I get angry? 
No, the, if if I had to, if I had to guess, if I had to guess, no, you didn't. It's nothing negative, but okay. you know, Karen's in public. That's gonna be the story for for right now. Okay. Karen's in public. What's your name? I'd rather not say. Just just look <laughs> up Karen. Just look up Karen's in public outside the federal building. You probably find it. No, give me your, give me your stuff. I'd rather not. Come on. I'd rather not. Okay. I appreciate you taking the time to come and find out, though. Yeah. Yeah, but it's it's nothing hey, nefarious. Nothing nothing nefarious, you know what I'm saying? You know, just just gathering content for a story. That's all. Okay. What's the story? I just told you. You have no idea. Karen's in public is a story so far. You came up to me, bro. <laughs> what are you talking you about? Me. You All walked right. up to me. I, I'm mean? minding my business, gathering content for a story, and you came, you got in your car, and you came all the way over here, so got within you? arm's distance of me, and you said you right fear there. for your life. What kind of sense do that make? Arm's distance? You got within arm's distance of me and said you fear for your life. So why would you Why would you go I within arm's distance of somebody that you fear? I just want to know what you're doing. That's all right, man. Alright, I heard enough, so, bro. Wait, where do you live? I, do you live here? Where do I live? Yeah, so if I find what you. What kind of question is that, bro? You ask every random person on the streets, where do they no, live? The where do you live? Right here, like, oh. Well, let me see your ID. Alright then, well, well why are you asking me all these personal questions? No, don't get mad. What's your name? You say you work for the federal building, right? Look it up. Are you a, are you a federal employee? I am. Paid by the court. So you work for the public, then, right? I'm not Aren't a you? Are, you are I'm public. If you work for the public, you are a public servant. Uh -huh. If you will, I put it like this: If you work, if you work for this building, you are required to identify yourself by your no. policy. No. Yes. No. Yes. No, yes. Look it up. I've looked it up, bro. But back to it: If you get any sort of money out of this, am I going to get a cut? Give me your name and your address, and I'll send you a cut. All right, do it. You swap the driver's license. All right, swap it out. Oh, you first. You got right here. Come here. Put it on camera, and I'll show no, you. Brother, come on, dude. You first. You, I on, said man. you first, bro. No, no. I on. said you first, man. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> you first. All right. Have a good one. Hey, man, ain't nothing nefarious going on, though. Yo. You don't need to fear for. You don't need to fear a black man you with a camera, bro. Nice. It's, I'm just a black man with a camera recording what I see in public, bro. Well, hey, that's okay. all that's going on. No need, no need to. Well, you you made it because you said you fear for your life. And nine times out of ten, when if you were to call the police and said that you fear for your life, black man with a camera, dreadlocks, they probably would have came and shot me down, bro. They probably would have came and shot me down, bro. They probably would have came and shot me down. So don't even go there. Don't even go there. You said you said whenever you insert black into the into the conversation that's the only reason you came over here if i was a white guy standing out here you probably would have just kept it moving i don't care if you're purple bro i i guarantee you if i was a white guy standing out here doing this you would have never stopped and tried to say i guarantee you would have never said nothing to me bro because you fear for your you fear you fear for your life you fear for your life before a man a, a man with a bow tie standing on the corner Standing, standing on the corner with a with his hand, bro. I got a, I got a camera in my hand. He fear for his life, right? What's 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 the what's the common denominator? Oh, black man. It's the common denominator. Okay. I just want to know why you recorded. I told you why I was recording. I told you already. You want to twist it? Gathering content for a story. Hey, if you use it, don't edit it, okay? All so right. I'm ask you. Oh, don't trust me. It's not gonna be edited. Don't edit it. I want it to be. And I wanted to show what actually happened. Okay. I didn't right. insult you. I didn't bring up anything about race. You brought No, but race. you fear for your life though. That's that's a you you feel threatened by my I by my presence. By I don't know. You feel yes. well you don't it's a lot of people right. on this block that you don't know. No Do you fear right. for them either? No one yes. Okay. Yes. Well you you, I, you, I, you I, might I, need if you scared, go to church. Hey, why if you, if you scared, go to church, brother. Hey, why are you why are you talking federal again? Gathering content for a story. What's the problem? What's the story? I already told you. Right now, yeah, that's what it is. Right now, trigger guy with a pink shirt and a beard. <laughs> that's gonna be the story right now so far. So my stereotype is that a beard? 
Alright, that that's thing? what you want to call it. No, I don't. Look at them. Look at your cronies. They 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 getting ready to conspire. You already you already done put it in. Now they thinking the same thing. Black man with a camera, white guy talking to him has a problem with him. Let's do something about it. That's what they thinking right now. Why you got the problem with the camera? I don't know what you're gonna do with my image. Why does that matter? You you nice looking guy, you got a nice beard, you know, pink shirt, you know. You look a nice looking guy, bro. What's wrong with that? If you hadn't never came over here, bro, you would have never even been in the story. But you took it upon yourself to come across the street and address a, a man standing in public with a camera. Uh uh. Okay, I'll be. Yeah. They got a cronies. Thank you. Another marshal right there. All right, buddy, I'm out. I just asked if you don't do anything bad with me, man. That's it. Nothing All nefarious, I brother. I appreciate you not escalating it, though. Man, I, I didn't really plan to. You could have, though. No, you very I? well could have. It seemed know. like you was getting ready to go there too. No, no. Once you once you talking about, oh, I fear for my life. Yeah, you big, you damn near bigger than me, bro. You fear for your life with a pink shirt. <laughs> These boys be killing me. They fear that they fear the black man. You know what I'm saying? They scared good. They need to go to church, or they can go to. They can go to G G G Jujitsu or some shit. Go get it, take a karate class if you're scared. Why the hell would you come all the way across the street? But they feel like they need to keep us in check. That's what that is. He felt like he, oh my God. Oh no, he's a black man and he has a camera. Oh my God, I fear for my lane. I'm just glad he didn't call the police on me. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, I ain't no telling what would happen when these clowns show up. Oh, black man with a camera. White man said he feared for his life. Shoot him! Boom, boom, boom. And I'm motherfucking riddled with bullets. You know what I'm saying? They need to cut that shit out. So I guess this must be like the downtown Waco area. You know what I'm saying? We right here on Franklin and 8th Street. You know, downtown Waco, I'm assuming that's where we at. Nice little area, nothing, nothing special. We got the the Tribune Herald right next to the federal building. And, um, you know, got a lot of triggered Karens coming up out of the federal court building. You know what I'm saying? They got them big ass lamps. That shit look crazy. You know what I'm saying? Got a, some people up in there. You can't really see it, but there's somebody up in there. You know, whatever you can see from public, you can record. You know, you can't, the judge can't dictate what I record out here. You hear me? I already know I'm going to get some, some slack from this one because... I literally just filed my uh, notice of removal. So hopefully the judge over my case don't get word of my actions. <laughs> but I ain't doing nothing illegal, you know what I'm saying? Just ruffling a little feathers, a couple of trigger cans mad because I'm out here recording in public, you know what I'm saying? They won't let me record on the inside, so this is the next best thing. This will, it's a federal courthouse, the first federal courthouse I ever been into. So, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing nefarious, you know. We just out here just recording, in, recording in public. You know, ain't nothing, nothing going on. Why y'all tripping? You know, this Big B Nation, we out here. You know, I do this. They they, they kind of ticked me off when they said I couldn't bring the camera. I wasn't even planning on recording. 
you know what I'm saying? I wasn't even planning on doing no type of recording. If anything, I would have did audio if I came up in there with it. You know what I'm saying? But they tell me I couldn't even bring the phone in at all. Like, what kind of sense do that make? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a violation. Y'all violating out here, so that kind of ticked me off. I'm like, okay. But shit, I'm going to stand outside and record then. Recording everybody leaving this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Since I can't record inside, it's a really nice building too. They got a bunch of clowns working up in there. Actually, the ladies that was that helped me out with the, the clerks were pretty cool. That's why I didn't really, weren't really, I think I seen the clerk, clerk one of the clerks come out. So I didn't even put her on camera. But she was she was cool. You know what I'm saying? Both the clerks in there was cool. They were professional. They helped me out. You know, they, they didn't really have what all I needed, but I kind of helped them out along because I've I've seen this process before and I've seen the you know I've seen the different um hiccups that go along with doing this thing that I'm doing, which is getting the cases removed from state to federal. I've been getting a lot of help from from uh, people that I know that's done, done it before. Shout out to ID88 and Dr. Nace uh, Incorporation Doctrine 88. Well, Y'all hit him up on YouTube. He's been kind of helping me out, coaching me through this process. It's like my big brother doing this. You know, he's been helping me out, you know, showing me the ropes. So I've been kind of seeing a lot of people that he's been helping out with it and seeing, a, you know, the different... Because I, I actually um, watched him do it. Now, I didn't see the federal court process, but, you know, I watched him kind of get gather up the paperwork. And, and um, I seen him, you know, I seen him write out the 1983, you know, different type of um, actions and litigation. So I'm, I'm a little bit familiar, even though I haven't done it myself, but I've, I've seen it done before. So I knew kind of everything that I needed, but the clerk didn't really know everything that I needed but I kind of helped her out you know showed her some some examples of what I needed and she was like okay we kind of kind of teamwork thing so shout out to the clerks y'all did y'all thing but everybody else up in there that security <laughs> um them, them federal marshals couldn't even come outside with a damn uniform on trying to address the issue with the the judicial order you know what I'm saying? And they basically interpreted it however they want to interpret it. You know, the the, 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 the rule says it as is. I'm sure if I would have spoke to a judge, he would have been able to clarify. But they say he wasn't around. So the next best thing was the marshals and the security. And I knew they ain't nothing I would have been able to say to kind of change how they were going to be operating. But just to put it on their mind, like, you know, y'all misinterpreting this order. You know what I'm saying? So, if you come up in there, you don't have to answer none of their questions. That's one thing I wish I never did, because the first thing you ask me, are you a lawyer? Nigga, I don't have to answer that. I don't have to answer none of your questions. And let me in here with this damn camera. You know what I'm saying? But I already knew they was going to give me some static. So, And then they going to, I said, I ain't bring no car. I said, I ain't bring no car. He said, well... I said, well, can you hold the phone for me? Because I didn't, I can't go take it to my car. I didn't bring no car. And he talking about, well, you can go put it up behind the trash can. What kind of bullshit is that, bro? He going to tell me to put my phone behind the trash can, bro. That shit is kind of messed up. This is a federal courthouse, and you telling me to put my phone behind a trash can, bro. That shit ain't even cool. So that, you know, just, they just kind of set the tone. You know, I'm glad I was able to get my stuff done because I had to drive a little ways to get out here. So I'll maybe, I'm glad I was able to get my my stuff accomplished. But hopefully it wasn't off or not because if the judge get worried of what happened while I was up in here, he probably going to try to retaliate and send my shit back to the state or something like that. But he just going to be added to the lawsuit.